Placings are complete in the fall yearling and milk jersey class. There were 19 entries shown. We now ask our juniors to please step forward. Second junior goes to entry 1803, Tri Keeble Minister Fame, exhibited by Tara Keeble of Three Oaks, Michigan. Third place in the class and your first junior goes to Holly Lane Renaissance Tamika E.T., exhibited by Sunset Canyon Jerseys, Valari Silva of Beaver, Oregon. Second, plus, second place in your best bread and own goes to Tri Line Tequila Didi, exhibited by Emily and Brittany Thornburg and Craig Walton of Pleasant Plain, Ohio. And your winning entry and best utter is number 1799, Marlo Comerica Fabien, exhibited by Lookout and Suter, G. Vance, and FJS Jerseys of Canton de Hatley, Quebec. Congratulations. Judge, your comments. Good morning, everyone. A tremendous senior yearling class of any breed, of all the breeds. These, uh, this class, I think, is excelled immensely, and it's a tribute to this breed to have this quality and uh, this young animals. And in saying that, I think we have a rather handy winner here in this first place heifer. Heifer that's striking in everything she does. She's a heifer that, in my mind, is the way a milking yearling look, should look. She's feminine, she's long, and the best thing about her is her mammary system. She's got that advantage over the rest of the class, a mammary system that excels in both fore and rear and bloom and texture. Next cow is a powerful cow, the strongest and most open cow in the class. I'd like to see her cleaned off a little more today, but when you're analyzing her, what a mammary she has as well. And she has an advantage, her main advantage over the heifer, or the cow in third, is the way she tracks on her rear feet and legs today. She's much freer moving. She's also a cow that's deeper in her heart and more capacious all throughout. But I do love the dairy cut to this young cow here in third, and I love her mammary system, a beautiful high wide rear udder. And she's just a lot more cow than this, uh, the youngest cow in the class in fourth, a late December yearling that you gotta admire her for her size at that age, and when you really get close to her, you just love her mammary system. She's got a high wide rear udder. And I give her a main advantage today in the way the teats are placed, and especially that right front teat, and also a cleaner bone to the leg than this big, massive cow that I love with the height of the width of the rear udder. She has a definite advantage in balance of the mammary system when you view it from the rear, and the way the teats are placed underneath that mammary system, and a little deeper cleft all the way through. But a tremendous class all the way through. Congratulations. 